Greetings. Showing a little bit here of my current uh, Unreal Engine 4 progress. Showing off some of the uh, issues that I've been getting and yeah, just stuff. So right now I'm I'm experiencing some weird stuff going on with the costume of this character. Um, right now I've been trying different things, you know, to get like um, um, swappable costumes and stuff like that. And what I've been trying here is I've set the the main mesh, the main naked mesh as the base, and then I have these like slots in the um, character blueprint with extra meshes that should in theory be attached um, let me just show you that so uh, let's get it into the little window all right um, in here you can see we've got the main mesh which is the body uh, this is really small yeah okay so here you see it's the it's the nude model and then we have additional meshes here that are the trousers so that you can see the slot uh, slot legs slot feet and uh, slot costume uh, top and each of these guys can then be set as a separate skeleton mesh which is basically imported on the same skeleton as this guy it's using the same and a blueprint. Uh, and then you can set if you want to undress and stuff, you just set the visibility off and you can like change the different top meshes and whatnot. And since they're all skinned to the same skeleton, it should in theory match, but it doesn't. If you can see here, uh, stuff goes sometimes out of sync you can see yeah like this these things are literally all skinned to the same skeleton with the exact weights to match but you can see it's it's completely out of sync and then it just like doesn't want to to stay where it should uh, which is it's really weird because like uh, I can see especially some of these like battle moves um, where yeah there you saw that it's like the mesh completely jumps off a bit and I, I'm really not sure what is causing this and if this is the right approach or if I should make like additional blueprints and uh, somehow merge them into the thing maybe this is not the right way to do it would be cool if you could mention it um but yeah i'm just gonna um, remove the top mesh for now so i can show you the little boop jiggle that i've been adding into this thing uh let's remove let's compile and let's jump back in Now, I don't know how well this is going to be seen in the recording because uh, it's costing me a bit of performance and the game is lagging a bit. Uh, but I did like a fairly complex um, jiggle system here. I'm still using um, the, how's it called? the spring controllers. Uh, which I really like. I really like the, the results of the dynamics here. But the problem is that if you if you have your character moving like on a static, like if I jump onto this little um, platform here, you can see the the boobs are like going a little bit nuts and i'm not sure what this is causing and i think it has something to do with the spring controller maths um because i mean yeah i'm not i haven't had a look into this yet but it's it
it's definitely something that that I reported and I hopefully would get picked up um, but I mean regardless you can see I've got some squash and scratch going on here and uh, depending on the on the amount of stretch that the the breasts are having so uh, actually this is not a good camera need to go further away like that yeah um yeah that's like the the low kick top kick and i really like how they how they move you know it's i think it's quite quite plausible you know it's, it's not like the the other types of um, breast jiggles that you've seen around with like one static joint and they just like rotate from a really weird angle up and down and whatnot. So I've been I've been really trying to get this to look as like natural as possible. Um, and yeah, obviously you can't achieve like hyper realism, but what I've been getting here now uh, it's already quite cool uh, I added some animations here like random emotes and stuff to test the rig a bit further like we've got um, yeah I can I can hit like keys on the num on my num block and the character's gonna perform some some funny stuff the animations are really rough. Uh, I didn't bake out the fingers, um, any of that. Like uh, this is maybe you've seen that before. This is the dance animation that I did for the character in Maya initially. Um, I've sped it up a bit, so the play rate is I think at one point three, um, just to check some extreme boob motions. And uh, because there's a little issue with the oh, I can mention that as well now here. Um, there's a little issue with the blend space um, when it when the blend space contains animations of different lengths it and you have it loop for some reason it doesn't loop the it's like it's got one predefined frame range maybe the of, of the animation at position zero zero or whatever and it's gonna use that frame range and if you have other animations and other positions that go beyond that um, they just gonna be cut off and then loop again from the beginning like you just saw on the dance like if, if I play this back again uh, oops that's the uh, wrong one ah, this is another one this is basically the um, the rig test animation that I did for other characters um, I implemented this here. It's like a little range of motion of doing the character doing some upper body and uh, lower body exercise, just so I could see the deformation. Um, and still, there's there's a couple of issues with Unreal 4.10 and FBX import, and it still messes up my animation tracks. So I have to import to 4.9 and then export that back out, and doing that kills my scale channels. So the animation loses a lot of uh, accuracy, especially like, um, um, uh, like in between the. Uh, I can't really show that here. Let me just up upload this and go to the uh, animation graph. Uh, where am I? Just gonna put something on there. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. So in in this area here, I'm losing a lot of um, volume because there's a joint here that scales, and that scaling joint gives me the the nice volume preservation in this area. Um, but because the scale channel gets lost during my transfer, I I've just like left it be there, and hopefully 
epic will just fix the um, fpx import export system a bit more because it, it really feels still quite flawed um yeah so that's that uh, yeah i've been i've been adding some animations oh that flew really far um like i've been processing into this um i bought cubots uh animation pack the movement pack and process that to this uh, female character obviously the animations are supposedly uh, for males so it it, uh, it looks alright but it could be better um, and then I bought this other pack from T-Pose which I'm use I'm not using much I'm using the um, like a little a, a slightly modified version of their crouch to do the combat movement um, but that looks still quite weird because I literally just translated the center like the full body up a bit and uh, like had the legs move a little bit less but it still looks odd but um, I implemented some of the kicks that they use because they are nice um, so at some point I'll also have to implement the how's it called um, some punches like the movement pack from Cubolt and the t post pack, they all have some punches that I could also add in. Um, and the like, the aim here is to get a pretty um, responsive combat system where I can have combos going on. Like currently, this is not happening randomly. The attacks, if I hit up arrow or W and then attack, she's gonna do the round toss. If I hit low arrow, she's gonna do the sweep. Um, and if I hit either left or right. It's gonna it's gonna do that right currently the left and right seems to be inverted because that should be I'm clicking right now but she's clicking to the left up and that and that should be right um, but yeah it's it's quite all right what I also implemented is the um, a little anim offset or aim offset yeah it's called aim offset so when I when I hold right click like I can navigate all on my character now with the camera I can just rotate she's not gonna do anything about it um, but as soon as I hold like um, right mouse button she's gonna start to look around and yeah I set it up in a way that I get um, a more or less smooth transition between these flips like because um, the the look around support only um, minus 90 to 90 so obviously it's, it's, it's this range so anything beyond that as in if I were to rotate the camera further she's not going to be able to do much um, now I could add more um, like until 135 or full 180 degrees and then I just add in more um, upper body rotation into the thing um, but for now it's alright uh, you can see we can test the the boob jiggle a bit more with this so yeah it's kinda working out alright um, stuff that I've implemented shit that I um, I got hit by that rotating thing. Um, stuff that I've implemented, I've been, I've been, so as you can see, this is not a root motion, even though I'm using all the full root motion pack from, from Cubolt, but I've been having, uh, some trouble setting that all up. It, it could work. Uh, I've said it, I had it working and it was, it was quite all right. But I felt it was it was not responsive enough. Like um, you, you, yeah, you had to use the strafe animations to rotate your character like this, and there were only two different speeds. There was like walking and running, and um, you had it was quite okay. But I mean, for a, for an action combat game, like a, a game that should be really responsive. Um, it just didn't feel it, it didn't feel like that it, it felt 
it felt like I needed more direct response of the controls onto the character. Um, but I still got all the animations in, so we got um, start movement, uh, we got turn movement, like if I rotate the camera somewhere, it's just gonna turn around and walk. Um, I've got all the stops, and the stops were quite alright. I had to play a bit with the ground friction um, to make the characters slide long enough till, till it worked a bit. Uh, it's still like a little bit slidey, but I, I guess I'm just gonna take it. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what else was there? Oh yeah, there's a cool thing that I did. Um, I added, um, I added some new fall things. I, I changed the fall animation. Um, oh shit. Uh, let me put the character somewhere where you can actually see that because it's quite cool. Uh, what was the key to ah, this one? Yeah. Let's put her up on this tower and then just do a suicidal jump. So I jump, and then after you can, did you see like after about one point five or two seconds fall time, she goes into like a horizontal fall because that, as after that, that means certain death. So, like a little bit more dramatic uh, fall animations. Let's let's put her back on the ground, um, or maybe one more time so if you if you didn't see correctly. Yeah, bam, then she flies off. Now, for some weird reason, she floated quite like this. There's some spongy stuff going on with the physics asset. I need to tweak some of the ah, fuck. Uh, some of the values there. But. Yeah, I mean, stuff is, is pretty cool. Uh, we're making some good progress. Um, there's still a lot to do, though. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what else I can talk about right now. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for now. <coughs> See you on the next video.